What's up guys? Today in the market we're seeing all kinds of red. Hodge twin reference for those who are into fitness. I'll be honest, I did not plan on making a video today. As you can tell, this is my beetroot powder. I'm on the way to the gym. And I was like, you know what? Maybe some people are scared out there. Maybe I should make a video and give a little insight as to how I've been approaching the market while I'm um, being seen as an idiot right now, smiling in my own video when I'm down like 300K in my portfolio. A lot of people have a lot of concern right now. And if there's one thing I learned in life, it's why let things you cannot control get to you. Whether it's getting fired from a job, a partner breaking up with you, something happening to you randomly, right? Someone punches you in the street, you're walking. Something that you can't predict, can't foresee, you have to just take it for what it is, act accordingly, and just keep going. Right now, nobody knew this black swan event, the war is gonna happen. Is it good? No, of course, any conflict is bad. But what is it doing to asset prices? It's dropping it. What does that mean for us as crypto investors? Bringing discounts to us. What do most crypto investors always wish took place in crypto? Discounts, red. What do most investors typically do when they see red? Don't buy. What do they always say they're doing? Buying. Why do you think there's very few people in this market who make money and why the majority do not make money? It is because of this herd mentality of letting situations you can't control get to you, shake you out. That's why we have a fear and greed index. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I don't know if I'm in the minority when I say I can watch my portfolio go down 100K in two minutes and laugh at it and do something like this, go to the gym and not even think twice about it. Maybe it's just me. I know everyone has different situations why we invest into crypto, what our goals are. I will say this, what helps a lot is making sure you're not over leveraged in the market. If you have your rent money in there, your mortgage money, your kid's tuition fund or your tuition fund if you're in school, bills that you need to pay and like the end of the month's coming and you're like, holy crap, I just lost a 50K and I need that for rent then yes, you're probably scared because you're using money you can't afford to lose in the first place. No shit, you're gonna be upset. Okay, I would be too if I had my entire life savings in crypto. So figure out first of all, if that's money you're okay with losing. Um, if you are over leveraged, uh, understand this will rebound, it always does, and just learn to not be over leveraged in the future, okay? I cannot be there for you for every decision you make. We're all adults, okay? What I did over the past two years is just what I did. What was best for me. What is best for me may not be the best for you. I told you guys my situation, right? Working a crappy job, making less than 20 bucks an hour, falling asleep in my classes, failing x-ray school, living check to check for a while, grinding, sleepless nights, stress the F out. Okay, I have the mental endurance and strength and emotional control, at least I think so anyway, to handle what I did, to be in a position now to say what I was doing was working for me. But I am naturally uh, an extremist. That's why I like Colby a lot. This Mamba mentality is not for everybody. And I'm not saying you can't make success. What I'm saying is you'd be surprised how much you can reframe a situation and turn it into a learning point, like a bad thing that happened to you, or at least rephrase it to like, okay, this is a temporary situation I can't control. How can I take advantage? So when the majority of investors are looking at the market right now and they're freaking out and then they see me like laughing at it and saying, great, looking at my bank statement and saying, how much money can I throw in here? That's, it's pretty much like how it is in life, right? You got people that look at a same situation and you're always gonna get different viewpoints, different opinions. Some that act accordingly like the public does and some that say, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And when you think about it, I don't know who you follow for a role model, celebrities, someone that went from like, you know, nothing to massive success. If you notice in every single role model you follow, they all got their different path. 
but they all got that same locked in mindset of whatever it takes. And that's what you have to have in crypto. A lot of us are here for the long term, but are worried about the short term. Does that make sense? Like why does worrying about what's going on in the past week or what will happen in the past month, two months, three months, why is worrying about this time right now when the end goal is the end of this year, end of next year, the future of what is expected to come? Why worry about what's going on in the moment when the moment is not so important for us right now? Like, I know this can be debated, of course. Like, I don't have a crystal ball. No one knows what's going to happen, okay? Some think the bull market's over. Some think it got delayed because of this Black Swan event. Listen, I'm not here to say they're right, they're wrong, they're stupid, they're not. I don't pick sides. I'm just saying my plan has not changed whatsoever. I've been very actively buying crypto. I brought up uh, three picks this month, which is normally very fast for me, which is why I've been slowing down a little bit. Even today on Discord, I got like seven picks thrown at me. I don't research every crypto. I don't buy every crypto, okay? There comes a point in time where you DCA, you focus on what you have, you evaluate, maybe you swap here and there, you consolidate, or you just tread the water. You'd be surprised how much of this market is treading the water, just making it a waiting game. A lot of this is making moves, but sometimes it's literally just waiting, okay? now. Don't take that for the for the statement of you're just waiting and never getting into the market. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you have the fear, uncertainty, and doubt get to you, which it always gets to you at some point for everybody, right? For me, I had the experience to understand where it comes from and how to deal with it. But if you're new and you don't, it's going to come to you if it hasn't already. When it does, this is where it's important to have an outlet. Whether you go to the gym like I'm about to do, whether you have a hobby that you like, reading books, playing chess, which is what I like to do. Maybe it's going out with your friends to eat. Maybe it's getting a drink if you want to take your mind off it. You want to hang out with your friends, your buddies. I don't know how old you are or what your thing is that's fun to you. But what I'm trying to say is when you're focused on crypto all day and you're over leveraged, these are typically the people alongside beginners who have no knowledge or experience in, in the crypto market where they freak out the most. And those are the ones where I see comments like, I'm going to take a breath and just sell everything and come back next year. Or I'm just going to wait until the water and coast is clear. Those are usually people who are either over leveraged, inexperienced, or don't have that emotional control on the check. Again, these are situations, especially Black Swan events, where no one saw it coming. Maybe the government did, who knows, but we're not insiders. We don't have the inside knowledge. All we can do is adapt. Life is about adapting, okay? Right now I'm going to the gym, right? I'm gonna do legs. I may go to the gym right now and have the worst workout I ever had. I may get injured or I may have the best workout. Maybe someone there goes, hey man, we really like you. Here's a free protein shake. You know what I mean? So many different things can happen right at the gym. Am I gonna be like, oh man, I'm so scared. What's gonna happen? Or if I miss a PR, which is a personal record in the gym, I'm gonna just quit working out. Like, no, right? You wouldn't quit in everyday life when shit hits a fan per se, right? So why would you be like, oh, okay, crypto's bad. It's not for me. John, what's going on? This pick ain't doing good. And like everything else is down, but you have tunnel vision for that one pick because it hasn't moved in five minutes or worse. You're asking me to, pump your crypto which i'll never do i see him on twitter i ignore everybody and if you get annoyed i block you it's really that simple i'm not a mean guy but i understand when questions come from a certain uh frame of mind and when a certain behavior exists in the market very few people are leaders in life and very few people drive their own car which i know i'm in the passenger seat of my car this is just for the video. But the faster you understand this, the better off you're going to be. Like I always say, anybody can buy a crypto. I can teach your freaking dog to buy Bitcoin. Anybody can buy crypto. Anybody can talk crypto. Anybody can research crypto. Anybody can say they're doing this, but doing that. It doesn't matter what people say. It matters how you, specifically you, handle information how you adapt to situations, how you recognize cues in the market, and how you ultimately deal with it and use it to your advantage 
to change your life. What do I always say to you guys? Changing your life, get used to being uncomfortable. What's happening right now? People are uncomfortable because of the red. How do you change your life? Buying in the red. How do you make 100X? Buying in the red. How do you make money in the minority? Buying in the red. What do most people do? Not buy in the red. Not financial advice though. <laughs> Anyways, not gonna ramp too long. Caffeine's hitting. I'm gonna drink this, go to the gym. Hopefully I hit a PR on my legs today. But again, what am I not going to do if my workout sucks today? I'm not going to go home and say, I'm going to quit the gym. I'll come back in two years. I'm going to sell all my gym clothes. It sounds stupid, right? It sounds funny. Something to think about. And by the way, if you want to reach out to me, talk to me. See how crypto I'm buying, selling, and trading. Next, be part of Q&A private live streams where I do them every single week. Literally coaching you to help you grow your portfolio. Or be a part of a like-minded support group of investors who want to change their life, which over 20 have already made six to seven figures. Incredible pre-having. If you want to be part of this and more, then I encourage you to join Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below. It would be awesome to see you there. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. How are you feeling with the crypto market today? And have you made a move? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. And with that being said, Time to hit the gym. I'll see you in the next video.